Assalamu alaikum in today's video we are looking at another brilliant game of Mikhail Tal which he played against Rantanen Mikhail Tal was playing as a white so he started the game with e4 c5 Sicilian defense knight to f3 knight to c6 bishop to b5 e6 short castle knight g to e7 black simply wants to play the a6 and then after bishop capture he want to capture this bishop with the knight so that his pawn structure did not get disturbed then knight to c3 a6 bishop captures on c6 knight captures on c6 d4 c captures on d4 knight captures on d4 and now d6 preparing this e5 or d5 move rook to e1 centralizing his rook Bishop to d7, knight captures on c6, b captures on c6. b captures on c6 is a good move because now this pawn is also attacking the center and helping the black to play d5. But this move is also leaving this a pawn isolated. Queen to g4, now Mikhail Tal is stopping this dark square bishop from getting developed because if he play bishop to e7, then queen captures on g7 is just winning for Mikhail Tal. Black played e5 attacking the Mikhail Tal queen and queen goes to g3. But because of this e5, now it is quite difficult for the black to play d5. F6. Stop the video and try to find what is the plan of the black. Well, the black wants to do the artificial castling. He wants to play king to f7, bishop to e7, and then he can play rook to f8 or rook to e8, and then king to g8. Mikhail Tal played bishop to e3, king to f7, rook a to d1, and at this position, Mikhail Tal, every piece is centralized, and now he is ready for the attack. Bishop to e7, knight to a4. Black was thinking in this position that Mikhail Tal wants to place his knight on the b6 with the help of the bishop that's why he played rook to b8 but mikhail tal was planning to play b3 and c4 rook to e8 c4 and because of this e pawn and c pawn mikhail tal has a good control in the center black played c5 and according to the computer this is not the good move because the c pawn was the only defender of this d5 square and now mikhail tal can easily play knight to c3 and knight to d5 and the d5 square is a very powerful outpost for the knight and mikhail tal goes for it knight to c3 bishop to f8 f4 again mikhail tal is attacking the center so again stop the video and try to find capturing this pawn is a good idea or not well it's not a good idea because after e captures on f4 bishop captures on f4 there is no way for the black to save this pawn let's say rook to b6 but now knight to d5 attacks the rook and when rook goes to b7 bishop captures bishop captures and after queen capture mikhail tal is winning in this position because of his ongoing attack that's why capturing this pawn is not a good idea and black did the same he played king to g8 rook to f1 queen to c8 and now f captures on e5 capturing with the f pawn is almost forced because if you capture with the e pawn mikhail tal can play rook captures on f6 that's why black in this position played f captures on e5 and now knight to d5 king to h8 king to h8 is a very important move in this position let's say if he don't play king to h8 and he play bishop to c6 but now this is a blunder because mikhail tal can play brilliant rook captures on f8 a brilliant exchange sacrifice you cannot capture it with the rook because of knight to e7 check and mikhail tal is winning the queen it's forced to play king captures on f8 but now rook to f1 check king to h8 and now knight to f6 check king to h8 and now a brilliant queen to h4 threatening a checkmate on this h7 square and if you are thinking about capturing the knight but now after queen captures on f6 king to g8 queen to g5 check king to h8 and after rook to f7 there there is no way to stop Mikhail Tal from winning and the computer is also suggesting in this position that black should give up on his queen with the queen to g4 so now you can imagine how bad this position is for the black so let's say you don't capture the knight here you play bishop captures on e4 but now knight captures on e8 queen captures on e8 and after queen captures on e4 Mikhail Tal has this extra bishop which is enough for him to win this game that's why in this position king to h8 is a very important move move and black find it rook to f7 and mikhail tal has placed his rook on the seventh rank bishop to g4 black is attacking mikhail tal rook but mikhail tal played a brilliant knight to f6 giving away his knight and his rook in the one move in this position black captured the knight uh, but let's see what happens if you capture the rook 
after bishop captures on d1 a simple threat is queen to h4 threatening a checkmate on h7 square let's say black play in this position h5 try to stop the checkmate but now a brilliant queen to g5 the checkmate is unavoidable because of the queen to g6 and the queen to h7 let's say if you capture the knight after queen to g6 the checkmate is again unavoidable and this position is winning for mikhail tal that's why in this position capturing the rook is not a good idea and black player g captures on f6 queen to h4 threatening a checkmate on h7 bishop to g7 physically stopping the rook from defending this h7 square but again mikhail tal played a brilliant move bishop to h6 it's simple you cannot capture it because of queen captures on h6 and again the checkmate is unavoidable the best move for the black in this position is to play queen to e6 but black missed it and he played bishop captures on d1 and that is a blunder because now now the checkmate is unstoppable. Mikhail Tal played bishop captures on g7, king to g8 force and Mikhail Tal gives the final blow with the bishop to h8. If you capture the bishop then queen captures on h7 is a checkmate. That's why black played king captures on f7 but now queen captures on f6. King goes to g8, it's forced and now after queen to g7, this is checkmate. In this game, Mikhail Tal opponent did not resign, he allowed Mikhail Tal to give him a checkmate. So if you like this brilliant game of Mikhail Tal, please like this video, subscribe to this channel to get more amazing and inspiring content.